Mountain Spike 518 Mobile RV Repair. It's a week after Christmas. Hope everybody had a good one. Hope St. Nick come down the chimney for you. Uh, a little bit lined up this week for us. We're going to finish up that MXT floor job. We've got a couple of seal techs we got to finish up. We're looking at uh, some generator maintenance, and we're going to get the motor home back in that had the Lippert 1 control. Needs some repairs in there as well. So we'll see what else we get into this week, but let's get started. Next up on this MXT, we're getting ready to put a slide topper on it. As you can see, we're getting some brackets mounted up on the front face of this. And then we're getting ready to put a new awning channel above the gutter rail on the slide out. Uh, slide topper is going to mitigate some of the risk of leaks that you could have on slide outs. Uh, this one's getting sealed up today from the seal tech test we did yesterday on it. And we're going to uh, seal the rest of the camper as well. So we'll check back in once this slide topper's on and show you some of the progress on the ceiling on this. All right, next up in the shop, we got the Sun Seeker. We got some generator issues going on with this. Start with a tune up, move from there. Basically, it's running for two to three minutes and shutting down, so we'll give it its service. Start from zero on that. We also got an electrical issue with the 12 volt system not running, so a converter problem, whether that be uh, 120 AC going into it or 12 volt coming out of the converter. We'll see which side that's on. Uh, we'll get some further diagnostic on the Sunseeker and check back in. All right, we got the Thor Vegas back in the shop, getting ready to run some data cables. As you can see, the boys got the fridge out on this, open up some access points. Uh, so basically, the wiring is running from the touchpad controller through the bottom of the cabinets into the side of the refrigerator bay and then down. Now some of those cables go over to the actual control module itself underneath here and then the rest of them go underneath the unit to the Swintec controller for the slide out. So we're going to get started on pulling some new cables through this and getting communication re-established inside of here. We're also going to put some emergency controls for this customer in here as well uh, in the event that one control has issues in the future or um, problems with uh, electrical so on and so forth we'll have some emergency controls as well to operate this unit so we'll get started on Thor Vegas today and get this thing back up and running we'll check back in with you all right here's the MXT toy hauler with the slide topper that's on it uh, we ended up going with the Lippert Solera slide topper and cover that room nicely keep any of the water little tree branches or pine needles come down it's gonna roll right off the top there it is all right we're back in the Thor Vegas everything's buttoned up back in uh, we ran the communications cables installed the new touchpad controller so we've gained all the icons back onto this uh, with all operations. So uh, slide out, bed lift, all that is working. We've also installed these two override controls for the customer as well. Um, don't foresee any future issues with it, but uh, they are there. So our slide control can be done by the touchpad or by the manual as well. And the same thing with our bed lift in the front can now be manually controlled as well. So all back together, buttoned up, communications are running, all systems are operating, and the Thor Vegas is ready for camping next season. All right, final walkthrough on the MXT. Everything's finished up in here. All trims back on, floors all trimmed in, soft spot taken care of. The outside went through after the seal tech on this. I took care of all the sealant around the camper that needed to be taken care of. Especially where the doors were leaking here. Causing some of those interior leaks. All the seals are redone. Cleaned up all the way around the entire camper. On the other side we've got the slide topper. That's all completed on this as well. So the MXT is wrapped up, roof service is done, 
It's ready for camping season. All right, we're back on the Sun Seeker. We got the generator unit pulled out on the service cart here. Uh, getting a tune-up done on this. Also got some carburetor issues that need to be taken care of on this. So we'll get the parts ordered on this and get this back in. We're also working on some electrical issues with this as well on the inside. We kind of got everything all tore apart. So what we have is kind of dark in here. There's no lights. What we got is a junction box. It's actually a transfer switch that'll transfer power from generator to shore power. I got some connectors cleaned up in there. We've reestablished 120 volt power to the unit. However, uh, due to some loose grounds, uh, from what I'm seeing, the converter has burnt up in this. So we're going to get the converter replaced, get that all back together. So we'll check back in on the Sun Seeker. All right, everybody. Well, that's about a wrap for this week. We appreciate you watching. Hope you have a safe New Year's Eve and a good beginning to the New Year's. We'll check back in with you next week. We're going to get into putting refrigerator into the Jayco North Point. We're going to get a roof job in here, get that started to tear down, and see what else we get into. Have a happy and safe New Year. Catch you next week.